Hey, what's up, YouTube? Got a little package in the mail today. Uh, in the V bar. The Evo barefoot Evo lights. So I made them open these. Um, we can do a little review on them. You guys can see them fresh out of the box. So yeah. The important stuff, the paperwork comes in a box. It's a box inside of a box. This is good compost, so we'll save that for later. So, yep, box. What they look like. Coming out. Red, white, and yellow. They look like. Uh, so, this is. This will be my fourth pair of these uh, type of shoes. I've had the Evo 1, the Evo 2, the Evo 3, and this is the Evo Light, so the fourth version. Um, size uh, size 44, that's what my, usually I get a size 43, um, my Evo 1's and Evo 2's are size 43, and then I got I ordered a size 44 for the Evo 3 and it fit perfect, so I want the size 44 again. Um, these ones feel a little bit different. Uh, the texture, let me grab the Evo 3. So this is one of my Evo 3s. Um, they've been pretty worn, probably about like 700, 500, 500 to 700 miles on them. Um, so the, the upper feels a little bit like softer compared to this one where it's a little bit more rigid and hard. Um, this shoe feels a little bit more solid than this one, but I, obviously I've been running a lot in this one. Uh, kind of same on the bottom, as you can see, I wear a lot on this side and by my heel. Uh, other than that, great shoe. Really like the Evo. Um, let me go grab my other three, my other two pairs of shoes. So yeah, this is the so this is the version one. Um, I got black and red. Usually I like to get my shoes black, but I couldn't find a black version in this, so I just went with that color, red and white. Um, so this one issue I had, I this is the first gen, so I didn't really expect anything much out of it. Um, I got a big hole in the side right there. Um, that's just from wear and tear, and I. Probably had my shoes too tight. I don't know. Um, seems like a reoccurring problem with these shoes is you, if you, when they when they get so many miles, the rubber wears out and they start getting holes in the sides. Um, that's just what I've noticed. The only shoe that didn't happen on was the Evo Two. Um, these no holes in the side, um, but like within like the first week of me having it, I ripped a hole up here um, doing like rowing on a rowing machine or something or in the weight room, and so ever since then, like, the sole will slide up in here, and it, it really messes up uh, the shoe, but I've put in tons of miles with these shoes, too, I just replaced uh, the insole and fixed it, so, great shoe, Evo 2, um, Evo 3s, I've done uh, my first 50k in these babies, and then my first, uh, 50 mile run and then I just went, attempted to do 100k and I only completed 50k. But I've done tons of long runs. I've done uh, back to back 20 mile day in these shoes. Uh, great shoes. Recommend them for anybody. Again, same issue I've had when you put, start loading in tons of miles, you get a hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this piece starts to wear and tear. So it looks like your shoes are thrashed. Uh, the nice thing about this shoe is that it has an inner. Um, lining so that way dirt doesn't still doesn't get into your socks and stuff so that's uh, really important where the Evo one just had uh, the outer layer and no and no inner see so if I stick my hand in here you can the dirt will come right through so that's my only issue with this shoe uh, obviously they made adjustments um, and this one over here it didn't rip as bad but it still ripped a little bit and it, and it always it rips right here too so yeah, it's just normal wear and tear, I think, um, on the upper. Um, 
Well, my favorite thing about these shoes is that they're 100% vegan, um, made out of 100% vegan friendly uh, material. So no leather, um, which is awesome. So I can't wait to give these a go. Uh, and right now I'm just taking a long break off of running because my training season came to an end. So when I start picking back up, probably in about a week, uh, these will be my shoe of choice. So yeah, um, basically really excited to see what these got. I was super excited that they were coming out with the fourth generation. So I can't wait. I'll let you guys know how they are. So like and subscribe. And also, what kind of shoes do you prefer to run in? Do you prefer a minimal type shoe like this? Or do you prefer, you know, uh, your usual Nike or Brooks? Or do you prefer uh, like a shoe that has a more stability um, or more cushion like an Ultra? Um, so what do you guys prefer? These are my favorites, so yeah. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.